and that will not be dictated to by USA in terms of who becomes our friends. Russians have not done anything wrong to anyone. We can't say the same about this one of treasury of the USA who was coming to steal our minerals and our wild life. I don't know what she was doing in those uh, game farms and all of that and the reserve bank and she came here to monitor their puppet if he's following the usa will not forgive julius malema for this <laughs> kings and queens welcome to my youtube channel i am the kenyan beast of course we are doing it the african way every day every time and whenever we mention africa we are mentioning black people we are mentioning african diaspora we are mentioning caribbean's people you know now in today's video i'm gonna react on this clip of julius malema uh telling the u.s people telling the white uh, supremacy that you are not welcomed in south africa and specifically he was talking about the usa and here we had a comparison between usa and russia now we're gonna react why russia and not usa but let's watch this video and then we will come and do what we do the best americans concerns are misplaced um the current government has got no capacity to empower Russians with weapons against their own handlers. And that the concerns of America in relation to South Africa's posture uh, in the war between Russia and Ukraine, it's unfounded. We've got a, a, a long-standing relationship with Russia uh, when it was still under the Soviet Union and that Russia has helped us to be where we are and that will not be dictated to by USA in terms of who becomes our friends. But uh, I don't think there's anything that we should be worried about. There's no one with such capacity in South Africa who can supply Russia with weapons. If anything, it is the other way around. Uh, and, and therefore, if the president says he's going to investigate, uh, will hear what the outcomes are. But America is just becoming a crybaby, trying to find a way into punishing South Africa because of our position uh, on the Russia-Ukraine war. We were so happy when the Russian minister, foreign minister came. He was at home here. This is home, really. Russians have not done anything wrong to anyone. You have a problem, go and talk to NATO. It is the one that provoked Russia, and Russia, it is well within its right to defend itself. So the, the Russian foreign minister was at home. You should have looked at all the comments everywhere in the social media. Our people were so happy to have a Russian foreign minister here. So we are happy that they saw it befitting to respect us and to come to us as a way of saying we respect you and we want to give you a, some form of an explanation as to what is really happening uh, in our country and all of that. We can't say the same about this one of Treasury of the USA who was coming to steal it our minerals and our wild life. I don't know what she was doing in those uh, game farms and all of that and the reserve bank and she came here to monitor their puppet if he's following their instructions of surrendering the sovereignty of South Africa. So America can never be welcomed here in South Africa, in the African continent, because we know when they come here, they are coming to check what more can we steal and finish off this continent. So she was even going to Mpumalanga to go and run some symposiums or something on uh, just transition and uh, how renewables work. You can see that she was preparing to indoctrinate our people to abandon coal so that they can enjoy to build their own economies with our coal while we are swimming in darkness. 
We are not going to allow that. So she was not welcomed here. It is our constitutional right to protest, and we shall protest on the 20th of March. Like Sharpville, we know we're not scared of the state power. Let the state come with its power. We'll come with the mass power. So everything is going to come to a standstill. We don't want to see a single truck moving. We don't want to see a single train moving. We don't want to see a single bus moving unless it's taking people to the picket lines. The trucks and the trains, more in particular, Richards Bay. Those ones who are taking our minerals out of our country through Richards Bay. On the 20th, if you know what is good for you, park your trucks in your depots. Let the trains stop. Welcome back. This is Julius Malema. And, and he has said that uh, the USA are not welcomed in South Africa. Or rather, in general, the USA are not welcomed in Africa. It's better we welcome uh, Russia in Africa than USA. Why will he say that? He has given us some few reasons. Like Russia did not do anything bad to the people of Africa. Russia did not colonize Africa. Russia uh, has not stole from Africa. Russia is not exploiting Africa. Russia is not doing something bad. Unlike their counterparts, USA. He has said USA, whenever you, you see a, a USA in your country, know that they are coming to steal your minerals. They are coming to loot. They are coming to exploit. They are coming. They are not uh, meaning well in your country. That's what he's saying. Now, uh, the issue of Russia and, uh, and uh, you know, the war of Russia and uh, the other country, he's saying that Russia is protecting his country. Like, it's, it has nothing to do with Africa. There's a time uh, news uh, I, I saw that uh, South Africa is giving Russia weapons. So I think that's where the problem came. But we are talking about why USA are not, are not Russia. So according to Julius Malema, USA are not good friends. But Russia are good friends. Now, from our own perspectives as Africans, as black people, what do you think? Do you think Russia has the interest of the people, of Africans? Do you think Putin has interest of, Afri uh, of, uh, of Africans? Uh, what do you think of the USA? From my side, I think Julius, Mas uh, Julius Malema is right. Because uh, the countries that have been uh, colonized by USA, they are suffering up to now. They are still being controlled by the white supremacy. Their resources, they are not using their resources because their resources are being looted by the USA. And I'm, I'm very, uh, it's very right to say that USA does not mean well to the people of Africa. Because uh, the last time I saw USA in Kenya, for example, they were talking about LGBTQ. And uh, they wanted Kenya to sign uh, the, 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 the bill of uh, LGBTQ and which is not the thing of Kenya. And it's like they were forcing Kenyans to do what is not in our culture. But they came with this demand of, you know what, you have to sign this bill unless, unless what? This is our country. Go and sign the bill in your country. You know, that's what we say. The last time I saw USA in Africa, I saw IMF. I saw people of Kenya protesting. I saw people of Ghana protesting. I saw Nigerians crying, the economy is down. The last time I saw K uh, USA in Kenya, they were giving Kenya 3 billion, uh, 3 billion shillings maybe. And the 3 billion shillings were to control the budget of Kenya. So... Anything that USA touches, whenever you see the USA in your country, there is something they have seen. That's according to me. There is something they have seen and they want to take it. And believe me or not, they are not going to take it in a legit way. They are not going to take it in a right way. They are going to take it in a corner-corner ways, you know. 
unlike China and Russia. Because the last time I saw China in, in, in Africa or in Kenya, I saw roads being built. I saw airports. I saw ports. I saw things changing. The last time I saw Russia in Africa, I saw Russia uh, uh, having um, a deal with uh, Burkina Faso. A good deal, giving Burkina Faso technology, nuclear, and everything. So, all of us, we are, we are under, uh, we have to do uh, uh, work with the white supremacy because we are all Soviet countries and we have to, you know, to work together. But whom are we working with? Are we working with the one who want to see our country going forward? Or we are working with the one who want to see our country going backward? Are we working with the one who is paying us to get resources from us? Or are we working with the one who want us to fight so that he can steal the resources from us? The last time USA was in South Africa was going to confirm about the apartheid. Was going to confirm if their, 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 their laws is being followed. So anything that the USA touches, it touches it like it's not real. It's not right. They are not doing it well. There is somehow they are getting things from Africa and leaving the country in a lot of poverty, leaving the country in a lot of war, fear, and your things are gone. So I am in support of Julius Malema with this, but I know the USA won't forget Julius Malema for this because he told us the truth and he said as it is. And the youths of nowadays, we need to listen on, this, on these speeches because it tell us a lot. Now Russia is in conjunction with Burkina Faso because Ibrahim Traore is so light in Russia than in UK, than in France, than in USA, than in Germany, but he's so light in Russia. You know? And if you remember, Putin is the one who came, showed us the image of Jesus Christ, the real image of Jesus Christ, that it has been in, 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 in uh, uh, it has been hidden for so many years. So, I come to conclusion and say that Russia somehow is a good friend to the people of Africa. And um, we need to, to embrace new friends. You know, we cannot live every day by our old friends, those who colonized us. Uh, they know our tactics. They know our ways. They know where to, uh, where to, to press. They know where to take. They know our weakness, our strength. We need to change friends so that we can continue as a nation. Because if I was colonized by British and I got my independence on 1963, 1964 I became a republic, up to now, 2024, the British are still in control of the things around me. That means I haven't changed. I am not free. It's just the same, it's the new me with the same teacher, with the old teacher, you know, so we have to find, look for new friends who are better for us, who are wishing as well, who are wishing to see that Africa is going on, who are wishing to see that Africa is growing, who are wishing to see that Africa has stand. That's what we are looking for. Tell me in the comment section, do you think Julius Malema is right by saying that USA are not welcomed in Africa or in South Africa? Because when he means South Africa, he means Africa at large. We don't have problem with Russia. We don't have problem with China. But USA, France, we have problems. Tell me in the comment section what you think. And of course, you can uh, uh, find me direct on my email address, kenyanbeast1 at gmail.com. And again, you can talk to me and you can join my membership channel. If you love what you have heard from me, you can send some super thanks there. You know, you know what we do. You know how we do it. I am the Kenyan Beast, of course. We are doing it the African way. Africa is the only way to go. This is the motherland. Until next episode, and peace be with you.